Hello my equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And it's been a while since I've done a grooming tote tour. This is my grooming tote. And I thought it would be fun for me to show you exactly what's in my grooming tote, just like it is, not doing anything fancy, not staging it or anything. This is my grooming tote and I'm just gonna pull things out and show you what I have in my tote. Does that sound like fun? I think it does. So let's look inside my grooming tote. And I did a video, I think back in like December when Dover Saddlery was having a really cool sale where you got this Noble Outfitters grooming tote along with a whole bunch of stuff that came with it. Socks, a belt, things like that. And I really do like this tote, but it did have separate components, separate pockets in it too that kept falling out. And I found it more to be kind of a hindrance for what I use it for. So I just took the little divider out and basically it's just all open. But I really do like this tote. It's really nice and it has a really nice strap that connects to the outside. The inner divider pockets did have like a little hand strap, which was really nice too, but I found that it just kind of kept coming apart. So I decided just to get rid of it and get rid of the headache. But this grooming tote is nice because of all of the pockets that it has around the outside of the tote. And in one of the pockets, I have a bunch of scissors because scissors are really helpful in the barn. You can use them for bandages or dressings on your horse. You can use them for trimming manes, tails, cutting stuff, and even twine, opening up hay bales and things like that. So having them in one pocket, I always know where they're at. And when I open the center pocket, have some braid binders which are really helpful. I like to braid my horse's tails before the farrier comes to keep their tails out of the way. Have a couple hoof picks and these are my favorite type of hoof picks because they have a nice grip for your hand. They have the brush on the end to get rid of any mud or debris and I really like the way that hoof pick works. It's really strong so always have a couple of pair of hoof picks. I also have some Theracin wound and skin care spray have some sunscreen. Not only is this sunscreen awesome, it's 50 SPF and it won't wash off, so it works great for me. And I also like to rub it on Frisbee's nose because he has a white nose and he tends to get sunburned. So I wanna protect his nose too, especially if we're gonna be out riding and I will put some sunscreen on myself and then also on Frisbee. In another pocket, I have my spurs. They're not mean, they're just like a little knob. Not bad at all. But I like to keep them in here because I'm always grooming my horse before I ride, so I'll keep my spurs here and put them on before I ride. I have a tail tamer brush. This brush is really nice. It's dirty. <laughs> it's got horse hair in it. Um, it does take out a little bit of hair, but not as much hair as I've seen other mane and tail brushes take out. It has little wavy bristles on it, and it's pretty, and I really like the handle. Easy to grip. I have a little bit of cowboy magic left in here, detangler and shine. It works good, but it gets all over the place, so it's not really the easiest thing to put on. This is really awesome. This is an essential oil blend. It has grapeseed oil and frankincense oil, and then I added in some eucalyptus oil. And what I'll do is rub a couple of drops on Ethan or Frisbee's, like the inside of their nostrils, especially with Frisbee because he tends to cough and the frankincense is supposed to be really good for your skin as well as um, helps with respiratory issues and so does the eucalyptus oil. So I keep it in my grooming tote and usually I'll put that on definitely before I ride but sometimes just when I'm grooming too. I have a pair of sunglasses on here that I got from a heart to horse box. They're pretty nice but I don't use them a whole lot because I usually wear glasses and if I'm wearing contacts, these work great. But if I don't have my contacts in, it's really hard to put over my glasses, so. But it is nice to have a pair of sunglasses and, and they have this handy little case, so I just keep them on here. All right, so that's the outside of my grooming tote. Let's look on the inside. So I have a bunch of brushes, of course. And most of my brushes are the Haas brushes. I have a Lipizzaner Haas brush. I can't even say it, Fella Gray's Bursty brush. 
which is kind of a medium bristle brush. I have a smile brush, and this is a little bit softer than a medium. And this is probably one of my favorites. This is a rice root bristle brush. It works great for when your horse is sweaty or has some mud on him to help get rid of the mud and the gunk. It's a more of a stiff bristle. I really like that one. And this is another one of my favorites. This is a diamond gloss brush and I use this towards the end so it's more of a finishing brush and it really puts a nice shine on your horse's coat. So this was the first Haas brush I ever got. This is the Haas Diva brush and it has a row of bristles around the outside and on the inside it has lamb's wool which is really soft. Mine is starting to come apart a little bit so I'm going to have to maybe put some glue on it to keep it together. I don't use this brush a lot. I use it like right now because it is summertime and the horse's coats are shorter. So when they're clean, I'll use this one because I don't want to ruin the lamb's wool on the inside. But this is a really nice brush. This is great like if you're going to go to a horse show just to give a nice final sheen on your horse's coat. I have a couple of ace wraps and Yes, you can use these like the traditional way, an ace wrap, you could use it for yourself, for your horse, you could use it on their tail. I've been using this on Ethan and doing the Tellington touch, the T-touch method, and literally using them as body wraps when we're out working. It's pretty interesting. It's a unique technique, but it works, so I keep those in there too. And of course, I have my strip hair gentle groomer. This thing is so awesome. It works great for shedding season, but it also works great the rest of the year as well. I really like to use this on my horse's legs. It's gentle and it helps to get rid of the loose hair and dirt that's on their legs. And I don't have to worry that I'm going to be being too rough with them when I'm using this on their legs. It also helps to get the dirt and dander out of their coats. And this is such a cool tool. If you do not have a strip hair groomer, I highly recommend it. It works great. It was around $40, but I use it all the time and I really think it was worth it. Definitely a good investment. This is MTG, main tail groom. This is good for first aid stuff. It's also good for your horse's tail, rain rot, tail rubbing, dry skin, bug bites, and it's a good tail conditioner. It smells really bad, but it works really good. I have some hoof conditioners. This is called Kevlar Tough. It's a hoof guard sealant. And then I have Pony Glam hoof highlights. This stuff has lasted me a really long time. I think I've had it for over a year now. The top is dirty, but it works really well. It's more of a conditioner and a, like a hoof dressing, whereas this is a hoof sealant. So this helps to keep moisture in, or if there's a lot of moisture, it helps to keep it out. And then I have all kinds of different curry combs. This is a Decker Curry. It's probably one of my favorites to kind of bang the dirt and the dust off of the brushes when I'm brushing my horses. And this, is ki this was kind of an impulse buy. This is an Epona Glossy Groomer. I was at Dover one day and I was like, ooh, that looks like fun. I haven't used it a whole lot, but it fits in your hand nice and it's got nice little rubber nubs to give your horse a massage. And then I have a Haas Curry which I use mainly for getting the hair off my brushes. And then this round rubber massage curry, this works great for long coats, short coats, and it gives your horse a nice massage, and it's easy to do that circular motion. So that is a really nice curry. Microfiber rag, wiping out eyes, stuff like that. This is another Haas brush. This is the Flick brush. This helps to get all of that dust and dirt off your horse towards the end before the finishing brush. Um, fly spray. This is Endure fly spray. It works pretty good. It's a continuous spray and I didn't think my horses would like it, but they're fine with it. It works really well. Some coconut oil, which has multiple uses. <laughs> a Decker face brush. This is so soft. It's dirty, but my horses love this brush on their faces. And they also really like this. This is a little massager curry for the face. Very, very soft bristles and both of the horses really like it. It helps to get off the loose hair and it works really well. Well, the container is really dirty, but this is bit butter. And what bit butter is, it has a bunch of different butters. So like cocoa butter, mango fruit butter, shea butter, 
vitamin E, soybean oil, peppermint oil, beeswax, and jojoba oil. And what this is is a mouth softening complex. I like to think of it like chapstick for my horses. So what I'll do is put this on the corners of their mouth before I put the bit in and it helps to soften it and, and it smells really good. So it's really nice. And I've had this container for, I've had this for like over a year and I haven't really used that much at all. You don't have to use very much of it, but it works really well and the horses really seem to like it. I've got some wet wipes for myself and for my horses. I have a double clip in here. I have no idea why, it's just in the bottom. I have some Vaseline. I like to put that around their eyes. Not so much when it's super sunny out though, because the Vaseline, when you put that on, it actually attracts the sun and it can burn them. My clippers. These are rechargeable and as clippers, they work really well. And they were very affordable. They were less than $50. These clippers are awesome for trimming bridle paths and just doing small touch-up trim work. I don't trim my horse's whiskers because I like their whiskers and I think they need them, but I do use it on their bridle path. And if I keep it in my grooming tote, then I'll remember to trim their bridle paths before I put their bridles on, once they start to get long. And typically they live in the barn though, being charged. And there's some treat wrappers and some hay in the bottom of my tote. So that is everything that is in my grooming tote. There's a lot of things that I use all the time, some things not so much, but that's why I really like this grooming tote. It fits a lot of stuff, but it's easy for me to keep organized too. Maybe that gave you some ideas of what you can do with your own grooming tote or gives you ideas if you do have one of these Noble Outfitter totes or Noble Equine, Noble Equestrian, whatever their name is now gives you an idea of what you can put in it and how you can organize it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY and horse related videos, helping you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.